Hello and happy Forensic Science Week. I'm Eric Ray from the Double Loop Podcast with some fingerprint comparison challenges this week. I know that all my latent print and 10 print examiners out there will have no problem with samples like these, but I want to put out a challenge to introduce non-experts to comparing fingerprints, how much fun it is to solve these puzzles. Uh, you can see, see today's challenge uh, is right here. Uh, and you can download this image by going to Twitter at Double Loop Pod, or you can just pause this video after I go through a couple more things to uh, complete the comparison just on your screen. And then you can come back and watch the rest of the video uh, after you're done with your part. So uh, here are the challenge questions. What pattern is this fingerprint? How many corresponding features do you find between the two? How many enclosures did you find? And is there a sufficient correspondence for an identification? So uh, if you've downloaded this image from at Double Loop Pod on Twitter, you can open it in Photoshop, MS Paint, or even Word, and then turn on a brush tool to put down dots on all the, uh, the uh, corresponding points. Or in Word, uh, just uh, insert circles. Uh, can kind of work the same way. Or you can just do it the old-fashioned method and just kind of pull out a couple pencils here. And uh, just with this video paused, put the pencils on screen, and just kind of move them around, keeping track of the correspondence that you're seeing between the two. Just make sure that uh, you count as you go how many features you're finding. So, all right, let me get rid of the pencils here. Again, if you're watching, now's the time to uh, pause, and uh, away we go with the comparison. All right, so I'm going to just uh, mark up a, uh, a whole bunch of things here in the latent print first, because that's how it's supposed to be done. Everything's fairly clear. I'm just gonna stick with one color uh, today. Some of my other videos explain what uh, using multiple colors would be four, and a method we call gyro for green, yellow, red, and orange. Right now, I'm just starting with features that I see in just the latent print, and then I'm gonna look for them in the known. Uh, that's the proper way to do it so that you're not accidentally inventing points in the, that you find in the known and then putting them into the into the latent print. So that's a good amount to get going with. Uh, now if you're using the two pencils like I was showing earlier, then you can't really mark them all out ahead of time. So uh, let's start. I like these right here. They all go back and forth. Ending, 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 ending. So we'll mark those out. Ending, 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 ending with just the right number of ridges in between. It's just one down, one down, skip one, one down, all the way over here to those two. Back up one, up, down one. Back to this point, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In to that one, back down one, two. One, two, to that one. One right there, up to that one there. Now going, let's see, from this one up to that bifurcation, to the left, one, two, three, to the left again. Here's our first enclosure. One, two, three, four is right there. Another bifurcation opening down from this one up. One right there, another one there. To the right, one, two, three, four. Back to this one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Another enclosure. Down to that one. Oh, let's see, from here. One, two, one, two to the left and up one. It gets a little messy, still okay. There's a couple in the mess here that, that didn't get marked, but we can just skip over those because there's so many more. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
that one there. All right, so we have um, you know plenty here for an identification. There's even probably a couple more that I missed that, uh, that you might be able to find. And what's our total? We got uh, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, 25, 29, I think, and two enclosures. All right, I uh, hope you guys found them as well and also found the identification. And uh, check back for tomorrow for more. Thanks.